So about this time of year, I always get asked about how you win a trip to the Super Bowl. So we've had tons of members every single year win Super Bowl trips. So when I say tons, it's usually between 15 and 30 people. Uh, this year we have about 20, 25 people so far that are going to the Super Bowl. As of right now, I'm staying home for it. But fingers crossed, I'm still hoping there's still uh, some sweeps that have ended that they haven't uh, chose winners yet. So maybe I'll get lucky over the next couple days, but by Monday or Tuesday, I need to start playing that Super Bowl party because I'm probably staying home for it. But I have been fortunate enough to go to the city four times, and I'll clarify on what I've won and what I haven't won. Um, we have one member I know of that's won eight trips to the Super Bowl. Uh, we have at least two others who have won five. Um, and then there, there's tons of people who have been to, you know, one or two Super Bowls. Um, when I say I've been to the city four times, the very first time I won, I actually won a trip to New Orleans for Super Bowl week, but it didn't include tickets to the game. It was a very unique sweepstakes. It was this tailgating type sweepstakes, but I got to do so many cool events. I went to the Celebrity Beach Bowl. I went to the Direct TV party where Justin Timberlake performed for about 2,000 people after he hadn't been on tour for the last few years. That was amazing. Uh, we did all kinds of things in the city. In fact, we got to stay almost a full week because they waited to the last second to book the hotel and they had a minimum of like five or six nights or something that they had to pay for. So the sponsor came to us and said, you don't have to stay that long, but if you want to, we have to pay for it anyways. Uh, so we did, we stayed extra time before and after the Super Bowl, which was wonderful and got to explore New Orleans, but we didn't have tickets to the game. So the game was still on my bucket list like it is for so many people, especially being a football fan all my life. So the first time I won was 2017. And all I wanted to do was see a great game. It was Tom Brady and the Patriots going up against Atlanta. The game was in Houston. And for those who don't know, Tom Brady led the miracle comeback. James White scored the winning touchdown in overtime right in the end zone where our seats were. It was an amazing experience. Um, you know, one of those bucket list items I'll never forget. So you never know if you're going to win again. Are you going to get to go back? Fortunately, just two years later, on this day, it was the Thursday before the Super Bowl week. So, like, same thing. Today, not this weekend, but next weekend's the game. I finish, I win, I send it out, and I get a phone call. And they're asking me all kinds of questions. At, at first, it, you know, I really questioned it, like you do sometimes on these calls. And they're asking me questions and what I'm doing on this day and... You know, if I won a trip to the Super Bowl, who would I take and all this? And, you know, like so many of us, we, we enter a lot of these trying to win a Super Bowl trip. So I wasn't sure what sweep it was, what was included. Was it tickets only? There's so many tickets only. Um, and so the person takes all my information and says, okay, uh, we will check and see if we can confirm you as a winner. And we will give you a call uh, sometime tomorrow. And I was like. Lord, like, I, I don't even know if this is legit at this point. Um, so sure enough, they did call. They called the next day. They called on Friday. They verified everything. Uh, it was a much simpler trip. It was basically airfare, hotel, tickets. And we actually went to a ticket broker in Atlanta. This is two years later. This happened to be, uh, it was going to be the Patriots, again, Tom Brady, uh, against the Rams. And so um, it was a boring Super Bowl. It was very low scoring, uh, but it was a you know very basic. We went, we picked up our tickets. We still had a great time. You do the NFL experience. If you're going to the Super Bowl this year, check out the NFL experience. I do it all. Every time I've been in the city, I've done it. It's a lot of fun, and there's giveaways and different things to do at the event itself. So then I haven't won a trip since. Now, I did get fortunate just a couple years ago, one of my friends won the halftime show by Pepsi. If you guys remember, Pepsi used to 
give away tons of trips to come just for the halftime show. Very unique experience. Uh, this was the year that Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg was performing out in LA. So just a couple years ago. And he invited me as his guest. So you go through all kinds of security. Um, they even have tracking devices that you wear to, once you go through all the security, when you're out on the field for halftime to make sure you get back off the field and then get on the buses to head back to the hotel. But you don't really see any of the game. You're actually in the tunnel of the stadium, you know, down and below for those who have done that before. Um, and then you rush out onto the field for halftime. You see the halftime show. And you rush back off and you and you go. Uh, but one of the coolest pictures, and some of you guys have seen it, is me behind the Rams bench. This was the Rams Cincy a couple years ago. And I'm right behind the Rams bench and, and Stafford is there. Uh, you know, right before the start of the third quarter. I mean, how many times are you getting a picture behind an NFL team's bench at the Super Bowl on the field? So it's one of my favorite photos I got. And, uh, you know, shout out to uh, to my friend Mike who fortunately invited me as his plus one to uh, to get to share that experience. Um, but I haven't been back since and I really want to go and I want to take my, my brother. My uh, wife has come to the two previous uh, with me, uh, but I've been wanting to take my brother and I've been trying, but you know, like so many, we haven't found that magic sweep that, that's got us there. But back to how do you win the Super Bowl? You really need to start entering today for next year's Super Bowl, you start looking for trips. Now, you don't know who's gonna be in it and your team might not be in it. And the question I always get is, can I sell the tickets? It, for the most part, you really can't, it all depends. Um, there's so many things with sweepstakes. Uh, you know, sometimes you're sitting with the CEO of the company, sometimes they hand you the tickets as you walk in, sometimes the tickets are at will call. Every sweep is totally different on it. Um, most Super Bowl trips don't have a buyout cash option. They're Super Bowl trips. They want you to go to the game and have a wonderful and fantastic time. And I can tell you from experience, if you're a football fan, it is. It's the ultimate goal. Um, and now every year I try and go back. I would give up all my wins for the year if I could just go to the Super Bowl again. So I've been fortunate enough the same year in 2017 that I won the Super Bowl, I also won a Pro Bowl experience, which it happened to be in Orlando. And I got to go tailgate and lunch or, you know, breakfast with some of the, the like former players, go to the practices, all kinds of different things. So that was a lot of fun too. But if you really want to start getting to next year's Super Bowl, start today. Make sure you're an iWin member. I am always looking for Super Bowl trips. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a couple last minute trips out there and there's some stuff in tonight's newsletter that, hey, maybe you get that call early next week and you're off to Vegas and enjoying next next weekend Super Bowl. But if not, start thinking about next year today. That's when you start winning. See you next week.